Pretty woman walking down the street. Oh, pretty woman, she got some pretty feet. <laughs> Guard is one squishy mon that can absolutely wreck an entire team if they position themselves well. Guard in the Pokedex is so powerful that it can and will create black holes to protect its trainer and ally. If summoning a black hole that can delete things from existence isn't terrifying to you, then you probably have some Rule 34 complex going on with Gardevoir. <laughs> Gardevoir's movesets are versatile in the sense where you can mix and match. I genuinely prefer Psyshock and Moonblast, but I've seen other peeps use Psyshock and Psychic, Future Sight, Moonblast, and even Future Sight, Psychic. It all depends on what you like running on Gardevoir and what feels right. Psychic gives AoE damage, which hits everyone on the opposing team that walks into it, kind of like Zard's Fire Blast. Moonblast stuns a single enemy, which is good if the opposing Pokemon has Speed Surge trying to flank you like that purple blob of shit and that annoying white cat. Psyshock does more damage every time it hits, and Future Sight resets if you hit an opposing on with it. As I said, Guard is versatile so you can use multiple builds on her. I tend to use Wide Glasses, Choice Specs, and Focus Band on her because she has an insane special attack stat so these items increase it further for some insane bursts. You can also do Energy Amp to do insane amounts of damage after ulting. You can wipe out teams faster than the owl finishing a damn Tootsie Pop. One, two, three. Gel Bell heals you after every special attack move and reduces the move cooldown, which can help in a team fight, so you also may consider that. The emblems you must be running are six green and six black emblems for a high special attack and to reduce the cooldowns of each move for more spammy bursty Gardevoir.